So I wanted to read this comment from Destine Samora. So this is very personal and embarrassing. I dated him two years and left him five years ago. Left all my belongings there. He was, uh, he's a meth addict. He's got a ba very bad paranoia. I could tell you some stories. He's punched me, threw me down on the ground, drug me by my hair down the stairs. He's a very bad guy. Told me he went to work one day when I got there with my mom and walked in the door. And he was sitting on the couch waiting for me. He had parked his car around the back alley where we lived. This is just one attempt to get away. Finally packed my car full of what I could get to run away from him. When he is sober, he isn't a horrible dude, but he goes on binges and becomes a very angry, paranoid, mean, per <clears throat> mean person. I feel absolutely terrible for this girl, but I'm happy it wasn't me and I will continue to follow the case as well as the information on the woman. So this is in regard to the Denver, Colorado stabbing Israel Cesares is going to stab some woman to death. And I'm not for sure who the woman is. I haven't seen her name, you know, printed up or written anywhere. And we should speak about her name because when you speak the name of the dead to the, <clears throat> to the world, they're still alive. So you don't want to wipe her out of history. You want to speak. You want to say who she was, what she was about. And then apparently, I guess, they always say it's a domestic violence, you know, sort of situation, but it was at a hotel. So it could have just been the first time meeting. So Israel Cesare has just stabbed some random woman to death that he just met. That's some sick shit. That's some sick shit. And we see from Destine Samora that this isn't the first time that he's, you know, committed crimes and shown that he's a piece of shit. And I'm wondering with the cops in Colorado, I wonder if they just forgot to tell Israel Cesare that there are enhancement charges for crimes of violence. If you commit a crime of violence, there's all these extra enhancement charges. That's why that uh, Cuban immigrant got 107 years. But apparently Israel Cesares didn't know about those enhancement charges. Crimes of violence, enhancement charges, that didn't deter him. And you know what is not a crime of violence in Colorado? Vehicular manslaughter. Not a crime of violence, huh? So RIP to the victim of... This Israel Cesara's piece of shit. And um, hopefully we get some justice.